Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have La Lee Lanjor Frasis with 1,590 rating versus Your Mama with 1,323 rating, so this is going to be another high rated DB video, and with that being said, let's hop right in, we're going to see Lee Lanjor win the Rock Paper Scissors shoot, and they will decide to go ahead and go first, 40 versus 41, opening hands, we have Shark Cannon, Imperm, Valor, Shared Ride, and Rose, so main deck and Shared Ride, um, like yeah, like going first this card's pretty pretty nice, pretty nice, especially with like all the hand traps that they probably play. Um, then they have Beast, Prosperity, Droplet, Cosmic Meltdown. Okay, so we see the Invoked deck, but they are playing the Shadals, which means they're on Shadal Fusion, and Shadal Fusion is insane versus this deck, um, especially when Meltdown is up. I got a normal summon out Rose, turn that into a Shiz, and then set three End Phase Shiz Effect Go Search, and then Shiz will go ahead and acquire the Engage. And then they're going to pass turn, draw invocation. Um, it's not bad. Uh, they might negate Alistair, but they might also not negate it just because, like, they have Shark Cannon that can interrupt it, and at the same time, they're going to get Shared Ride draw. Uh, go search Alistair, draw Widow Anchor, summon Alistair, Alistair effect, they just let it go through. Go search out invocation, get another draw. So far, it's been a plus one. Uh, go for Amrash, activate Shark Cannon, banish the Alistair. And then they're going to activate Prosperity. Prosperity, go banish. And then you're about to get another card off the Shared Ride. Uh, they're going to go ahead and grab the Fusion Destiny. They're playing Con... Well, I guess Construct's like pretty standard in the deck. But they're playing the BLS Link. Uh, that's not standard. But this is pretty good against this deck. Um... And then put back. Um, then they draw Fusion Destiny. Wow, they've drawn Fusion Destiny, Widow Anchor, TC Boo off of this. Just all good cards. I guess this deck does have like a lot of pretty solid cards in it. Uh, they're going to Fusion Destiny and go dumb, summon out the Enforcer. And then Battle Phase, attack over Shiz. They're going to activate Imperm on the attack. So they're doing this because the Imperm is going to get forced anyways because of Enforcer effect. So their thought process here is let's just Imperm it now so that way we take less damage. Um, I guess I mean, they could Enforcer pop Amirage, pop Shiz in response to still get like good damage through. Yeah, it looks like that's what they're doing. Uh, so then go ahead and attack. Um, it's supposed to be halved because of prosperity. Pass. Um, they draw Ray. That's good. Now uh, they don't have to go ahead and like search like a way to extra deck with engage. So summon Ray. They realize that it's supposed to be half damage. Um, on Ray summon, they're going to go ahead and drop it. And then, wow, see, think on Ray. You have any chain links with priority? I know so many people were like, nah, like, priority doesn't exist, DB Grinder got taken out of the game in 2012, and it's like, well, us, like, a priority got taken out of the game in 2012, but there's different priorities in the game, like, you know, we can't, uh, we can't, like, summon Chaos Sork and use the effect before our opponent activates Torrential, like, you couldn't go for him, Matt, but it's, 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 there's definitely a priority in the game still, um, Enforcer Effect, in response, they're going to chain Ray. Um, so now they have to pop their own things. Uh, yeah, they're going to have to pop Meltdown. And then activate the Graveyard Effective Enforcer. Um, that's pretty good of them to go ahead and chain Ray. You know, forcing them to pretty much pop their own Meltdown. Uh, go search out the Hornet Drones. And then activate Hornet Drones. Bring out Token. And then up next, they're going to get rid of that, go for Kagari, Kagari effect, add back engage. And then they're going to activate engage. Um, engage, go search out shark cannon. Uh, so they are playing multiple shark cannon. And then they get the draw, uh, draws multi-roll. Like we've seen some people call it, cut multi-roll, we've seen some people cut down the one shark cannon. Uh, so, playing a, you know, they're, they're making their engine a little bit stronger. They're going to banish the Enforcer here, and then proceed to get rid of that for Shiz, and then Fusion Destiny. So Fusion Destiny, go dump, 
uh, dump the heroes, summon out enforcer, and then battle phase, um, try to attack for 4,000, cutting their life points in half, and then activate enforcer effect to pop, chain cosmic to banish multi-roll, so then enforcer will pop itself in cosmic, enforcer graveyard effect, and then they're going to set to end phase, shiz effect go surge, and then shiz will just go grab afterburners, and pass. They draw Ecclesia. Um, they're going to use Dasher to summon out that Ecclesia. And then are they going to use the effect of it? Yep, they are. Um, in response, Chain Widow Anchor, which is fair, especially because like standby phase Widow Anchor will be turned off until they go ahead and uh, use the Enforcer effect. This comes back, and then Dasher comes back off of Enforcer, set double invocation, uh, okay. Battle phase, attack shiz, losing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 11. So this card's at 1,000. So they're going to take 500 there. Yeah, they forgot about the enforcer losing also. Uh, activate celestial, go banish, and response chain enforcer, which they are fine with here. Uh, they want an invocation, put the graveyard, so they can use it to grab back Alistair. Uh, draws into Ash Blossom, Fusion Destiny, they admit defeat. And then... Okay. Moving on to the next game. We're going to go ahead. We're going to see Striker be forced to go first. Opening hands, we have Dasher, Ash, Valor, Hornet, Rose, not that great. They have Nadir Servant, Talons, Prosperity, Ash, and Knight. So they're going to start this off with normal summon rose again, go for shiz, end phase, shiz effect, chain ash blossom, pass turn, draw Nadir servant, and then proceed to go ahead and go to main phase. They're going to activate prosperity, go banish, banishing six. Uh, looking at the six banish, we see like they, they took, uh, they took, they hit a lot of shadows there, but we saw them play beast. Did they take out Shadal Fusion? Or do they play more Shadal's in extra deck? I don't know. I guess we will find out. I feel like you would want Shadal Fusion in against this matchup when you choose to go second. No? Fusion Destiny, Chain Ash Blossom, Talents, look at the hand, hit the Hornet Drones. Yeah, le leaving them with just no engine. You're putting Sky Striker on top deck because you're going to be outing the Shiz. Um, go ahead, send Ash, grab Ecclesia, and then special Ecclesia, Ecclesia effect, chain Valor, special summon out Knight, and then they're just going to go ahead and move to the battle phase. Um, attack, effect again attack, so it's going to beat over it for 2,000, and then attack, it should be more than 35, well it shouldn't be more than 35, um, because it's halved. But it should be different than 35, I think. Well, no, 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 because that's 15 plus 2. I'm dumb. Yeah, 15 plus 2,000, 35, fair enough. But then it should be half because prosperity. End phase, Ash. Ash will go search. And that will be grabbing the Maximus. And they caught it. Hey, and they drew prosperity. That's a really good top deck. They can go ahead and dig six cards deep. Banishing two Hayate there. And then look at the top six. Uh, they will go ahead. Also, they're still playing Nightmare Phoenix, which is a little bit interesting. A lot of people have decided to like put a Charmer in that spot or like a Dagda. And then grabs Fusion Destiny. Even if they're not playing like the big artifact stuff, there's people that just side deck like three Sanctum, one Scythe. There's people that don't even side deck Sanctum. They just have a Scythe and like Lancia in the side deck. And then Dagda just like, like gives you, like you can go ahead and get to it. And then... You can like, boom, Fusion Destiny, bring out Enforcer, Enforcer pop. You don't have to do that turn one. You know, you could do that turn three, turn four, just completely shut the opponent down. Uh, then they're going to activate Fusion Destiny, getting rid of Dasher and the Celestial, summon out Enforcer, and then Battle Phase, attack Ecclesia for some damage, and then they're going to Enforcer pop Knight. 900, you still let the attack go through, right? Um, it should The damage should be half there. Uh, they just keep forgetting the half. They draw Alistair, Enforcer comes back, and they're going to normal summon out Alistair. Alistair, effect to go search. So, like, they're definitely ahead here. 
uh, the invoked player goes by far. And then they're calculating. All right. Um, they are going to proceed to go ahead and activate the invocation. Invocation will banish Alistair and Rose, summon Makaba. So this doesn't directly out Enforcer, unless if they want to discard Alistair and Maximus, then it outs Enforcer. Nadir Servant, they admit defeat. Yeah, going on to the next game now. We will go ahead and we are going to see our Shadal invoke Dogmatica player be forced to go first. It's kind of weird how, like, I don't, I don't know what's in their extra because they're playing the BLS. They banished Apkulin, but they're playing Beast. Are they playing Beast with no other Shadals? Like, that's impossible, right? Like, why would you build your deck that bad? You would If you're playing, like, Shadal Fusion, you'd play, like, what, Beast Aerial, I guess? Should all fusions, why would you ever take out Ariel versus Sky Striker when it's so good versus them? And then they banish App Clone. So that means they're playing multiple App Clone if they're doing this. If their deck list is like correct for this, that means there'd be two App Clone because they banished one last game, which means they're playing two App Clone and a BLS while also playing the Shadals in the deck. I... My mind is blown right now. Uh, they have Rota, Droll, Prosperity, Ash, Rose. They have D-Barrier, Cosmic, Imperm, Fusion, Destiny, TC Boo. I guess they just need TC Boo over something like Nib, probably. They draw Lancia. Yeah, they really just <laughs> didn't do anything to Ash. Uh, like, Ash on Fusion, Destiny, set four pass. Kind of wild. Um, they're going to add the Ray, and then Prosperity, Banishing three. Look at the top three. Banishes Anaconda there. Maybe you just banish six, right? Like, I don't know. In a spot like this, when your opponent just sets a whole bunch of back row, I feel like if you just get to, like, maybe they're, like, reading D-Barrier. Because, like, if your opponent sets this many back row, there's got to be a D-Barrier. So then banishing three kind of makes sense because you don't really want Fusion Destiny. Because, like, you almost know for a fact that there's D-Barrier set. Like, this card's really common in the meta. And there's also got to be, like, an Imperm. You got to have a read on, like, an Imperm, a D-Barrier. Uh, you probably wouldn't have a read on, like, the TC Boo or Cosmic. Like, maybe it's those cards, but... They should, like, know for a fact there's D-Barrier, Imperm. Um, they're going to Ray tag out. Ray go ahead, summon Hayate. And then Hayate attack. And then Hayate effect to go send. Um, Hayate will go ahead, dump Widow Anchor. Flips TC Boo there, so that way they can't, like, go for Kagari. Um, they could have went ahead and cosmic that, but they might think that there's another TC boost set with how many back row they have. They also decided not to set cosmic, potentially to play around cosmic. Ah, they're gonna go ahead and activate meltdown. Meltdown goes search. I don't think you drop roll. He's like they just play next turn. Then I think you just wait and you Lancia them. Go grab invocation. If they had called by, they would have called by Ash. For sure. Then they're going to go ahead, activate invocation, chain Lancia, turn Alistair into Amirage, pass, draw, droll. They didn't even need to really go into that. I mean, I guess it gets fire into rotation, but there's already fire in rotation. Now they just attack over it. You take more damage than you would have. Okay, I'm trying to think of a. Okay, I guess this makes like Maximus live. So, like. Yeah, no, that's fair. But you have to like hard draw Maximus too. I guess it's kind of worth taking 15 to have another good card in your deck. It's like if you draw Ecclesia, you got TC Boo up, so you can't even go for Maximus. Okay, that's fair. Um, but now they're going to go ahead and Hayate dump Rose. Rose will bring itself out because Amirage goes. And then attack with Rose. Main phase 2. We know that they play Nightmare Phoenix and they are going to go for it. Effect, discard, draw, go pop a back row. They're going to be targeting the Cosmic. And then in response, they're going to chain Imperm. And then they just pass, draw Harpy's Feather Duster, which is doing nothing. They're on a two turn clock. We're gonna go ahead and poke with this. And then set cosmic, end phase, cosmic the cosmic. 
Pass, stroll down to your servant, Ash Blossom for game. And then, GG's. Um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to see that the match was only about 27 minutes long. It felt a lot longer than that. But it was probably just because, like, that game three, there was, like, I don't want to say a lot of back and forth, but it was just a lot of turn passing. This player wasn't really doing anything. They just got they got their Fusion Destiny stopped, their Alistair stopped with Lancia, Nadu Servant stopped, and that's all they had. So all of their plays just got stopped. But, yeah, with that being said, the DB Grinder signing off. Peace. Have a nice day. Stay. Oh, wait, hold up. I wanted to tell a story. I had a, I had a few people ask about the story. I was pretty sure I talked about it in my deck profile video, but I don't know. I, I don't remember what was in that video. I don't feel like watching the whole thing over. Um, but everyone kept asking about how, like why I got yelled at by an Italian. And it, it was because... I don't know if I explained the whole story or not. Or so I'll, I'll just say it again. I may as well. Um... So it will, he was playing Sword Soul and I was playing Bird and I had Nib and my opponent ended on Grandmaster Fleur and I knew Blackout set. Fleur had not used its effect yet to negate. And I go he goes pass and I go end of main, activate nib. And he goes, Yeah. And I go, Okay. Uh, summon Niv, I'll summon token to the middle, and literally as, like, right as I said as, I'll summon token in the middle, he goes, no, no, I did not say yeah, I said think, I said think, I did not say yeah, you are a rule shark, I hate you, he, he just started popping off on me, like, he, he started calling me Italian words, he was screaming at me, and there's a judge in there too, and the judge is like, whoa, 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 two things, first of all, I heard think from him, and second of all, you're getting a warning for that outburst. And I was like, jeez, bro, this guy is mad. Uh, it was kind of funny, though. I wasn't even, like, stressed over it. I was like, okay, well, if the judge heard think, and the other guy's saying he said think, but I heard, yeah, maybe I'm just wrong. Maybe I just heard it wrong. Whatever. I, I mean, I don't think I heard it wrong. I'm very, very certain I heard, yeah. Very, very certain I heard, yeah. Um... Yeah, but it's just wild. Um, and then also, another story, that plate of sausage that I posted, and everyone kept hating on it, it tasted good. Y'all are only used to sausage patties and, like, links. But guess what? Those aren't as good. They're not as good. They're more expensive. You get less food. Hey, mine, mine tastes perfectly fine. It's a little bit burnt, though. I, ha I have to burn my food a little bit, because I don't know when the food is done. I know the food is done, though, if it's burnt. That's big brain thinking right there. But with all that being said, the DB Grinder signing off. Peace. Have a nice day. Stay safe.